Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture in gorgeous, gorgeous Sydney. piece up from marketplace a couple of months ago maybe a couple of weeks ago um i paid 30 dollars for it it's in pretty good condition pretty sure it's solid wood yeah solid wood we've got a little bit of damage there i can just fill that that's not an issue there's no damage on the back the body may be veneer it doesn't really matter to me i'm going to be painting it so it doesn't really make any difference we did have an issue here with this section had split tried clamping it Ooh. tried clamping it um gluing it clamping it didn't work so what we've had to do is put a little plate on the back to hold it up which is doing the job well um all the drawers are on runners it's a really nice piece of furniture so what am i going to do with it well i did a piece a while ago for a customer and it was all different color all different colors on each of the drawers and i loved it so i'm going to do that again in all dixie bell silk so i'm going to do the body in silk water salt water and then each of the drawers in these different colors now these are just sample pots that i've had for a while that i i just had those when i was taking photos to display the colors so this these aren't available to the public in this size this size are, is is uh so this is just a perfect way for me to sample these colors and do one in each of the drawers so i will be priming it too because we're going white and this will definitely bleed so as much as the silk does have a built-in primer so that i'm not going to need to use as much paint and just so that i'm giving my paint job the best chance possible i'm going to use uh, boss in white so let's get started shall we let's go so this is my dixie bell white lightning that i use to give every piece a really good clean it may look clean but then when you get this stuff on you realize how dirty it was So once it's all clean with that, I go in with just plain water with my spritzer. My spritzer's dying to death. And wipe off any residue that is left behind by the white lightning. And then you've got the perfect landscape for your paint. Right. Let's give this boss a go. So I'm only going to boss um, the frame and the top because that's going to be white. The remainder is going to be in various colours. And I know that it's it's already got uh, a built-in primer and sealer. And I know that the coverage is really good. So I'm not bothered about those colours bleeding through. It's only really white that I tend to um, worry so much about. Right, let's get stuck in. So I'm using my French tip. Harper is supervising. I'm eating grapes at the same time. Okay, let's have a go. Those who know me or have watched me for a while know I am not a fan of white in any way, shape or form. So watching white go on here isn't really going to give me any pleasure. I'm not going to lie, but I know it's a necessary evil. So I'll do two coats of this so that I get full coverage. The aim when, I, when I'm putting top, um, a primer on is I just want to get full coverage. So there's two reasons for that. One, you're going to get the best um, out of the primer and the blocker. So it's going to stop the tanning bleed. But what's it, what it's also going to do is... Um, reduce the number of coats that you need to put on of your paint 
And those of you that paint white know that white takes a lot of coat sometimes. So if you can reduce that in any way at all, then do it. So I'll just get on with this. I'll get a bit of larger flat brush to do the main areas. I just like to use the, the French tip when I'm doing in these cracks here. Uh, so I'll go and do the, the remainder of the body and the top. Like I said, I'm not going to do the drawers. And then I'll come back to you when I've got the two coats on this. And I'm going to start with the salt water, wasn't it? Not white cap. I wasn't sure I was going to do salt water or white cap. I haven't used salt water before, so I'm going to go with that. I will be back. So I've got all my drawers lined up and the colours that I'm going to put on each. Like I say, I always take the drawers out and lay them out in the same position that they're in in the in the piece so that they go back in the same way. Um, I'm not going to show you me painting every drawer because I'm going to have to change my paintbrush or at least wash my paintbrush in between so that I don't have eight dirty brushes. But I'll just show you the colours that I'm going to go with. Basically, it's all the colours that I've got these little pots in. So, sun-kissed, oyster, I'm hoping you can read this, sorry I'm eating grapes as I'm doing this, bay breeze, sandcastle, serenity, Baja Grey, Baja Grey, I don't know how to say it. Hampton Olive. Now I don't have much left in this, so I'm hoping I've got enough for one small draw. Tide Pool. Oyster, I've already shown you that one. Oyster and Sunkissed. I think I've come back on myself, have I? Okay, now those of you that aren't new to my channel aren't going to be surprised by this change, but I'm not painting it white. It's close to white. I'm going to go with chalk mineral paint in the colour buttercream. Now, I can justify this change. I didn't want the stark whiteness of the brightness of the white next to the other colours. When I've seen them, they've all got a really nice Hamptons tone to them, warm tone. So I wanted this to be a little warmer. Plus, I'm going to lightly distress it. So I want to wax over the top of it anyway, so I might as well just go with one that doesn't have a built-in top coat. And that's my justification. That's it. So this is better cream, and it's this is actually a 32 ounce um, pot. You, I believe you can't get these in Australia. I got the, this directly from Dixie Bell in the US. Um, it's a shame that you can't get them here. I've got to be honest because I love the idea of having these big pots. But as far as I'm aware, and I, I could be wrong, but I've never seen them. So if you have, then let me know. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Why can't I paint white? Why can't I paint white? Oh, that's nice. See, yeah, I'm happy with that. So this is a chalk paint. Oh. Do you know what? I was going to give that a slight sand. It's pretty smooth. I'm okay with it. I'll give it a little sand after I've done this. But yeah, I'm happier with this being this colour now. <laughs> I'm going to have to paint white one day. Like, properly white. A big piece of furniture. But today isn't that day. I found a reason to get out of it. But I've got salt water and white cap that I need to use. <laughs> I can't run from it forever, can I? Right, so this will be two and a half coats. I would imagine I'm getting really good coverage with this. So it's a chalk paint. I'll lightly sand it afterwards before I then go in with the clear wax, which I will rub in and then buff off a little while later. And I'm just using a flat brush here, one that I've chopped off, as you can see. I'm always chopping brushes off. Right, I'll get on with this. And I'll come back. Probably next time you see me, I will be sanding that back a little bit. Literally just a really soft sand.
the paint is on i love it it's just an it's like an off-white what was it called butter or something or other um anyway it's an off-white it's beautiful i enjoyed it more than i would paint in white so now i'm going to go in with best down wax in clear and i'm using my best dang wax brush so it looks white when it's in the pot and when it's on here dries clear perfection so i'm just gonna rub it on harp is here to investigate you okay harps with that yeah are we good yeah okay yeah okay she's happy with that oh. little dog here joys of being a dog owner dog lover not just dog owner i have to pick hairs out of everything before i do anything so i'm going to do this all over i actually haven't um distressed it i think i'm just going to leave it like with the dints and all that it had rather than adding the distress see distressing was the excuse that i needed to not paint white to, to change the chalk paint it was an excuse don't listen to me when i when i give you reasons for me not painting white just ignore me it's just justification for doing it because all it is if you've watched any of my videos you will know that to be true <laughs> Sometimes I don't even recognise it that I'm doing it myself. I believe the excuses that I'm coming up with. I believe them. But the fact is, I don't like painting white. Right, so all I'm doing is going to rub this in all over. I'm going to leave it for a little while and then I'll come back and buff the excess off. So what it's doing is it's, it'll dry hard it'll protect the paint and it'll give it a beautiful sheen without any bulk this is how i check <laughs> did i paint all the marks just turn your head around look at it from different angles okay i'll do the rest now put the drawers back in i'm actually excited to see where the drawers back in the top has come up really nicely I've did, done more top, coats on the top because I thinned it right out. I put lots of water on as I was doing it. Excuse me. Um, just because that helps you get a really smooth finish. Dog hairs. Oh my God. Goodness. Sorry. Oh. I'll just paint over it in a minute. Right. Go to work. Let's get this finished. I haven't even decided on the draw pulls yet. I've got lots to choose from. Um, I think I'll go funky. Who knows? Who knows? I just make stuff up. There she is, all finished. I haven't buffed the wax off yet, but I'm losing where well, the light's going to be against me. So I thought I'd get these photos and just look at the final piece before I lose the light. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my word. I can't remember the name of all the products I've used, but I will list them in the description. I ended up using just regular draw pulls that I've taken off older pieces. I did try sort of different draw pulls, so it was a bit kooky, but I found it sort of, well, I felt it took away from the kookiness of the different colours on the drawers, so it was a little bit too much, a bit overpowering, I thought anyway. So, uh, oh, I just love it. Love, love, love it. What do you guys think? Oh. oh, thanks for sticking with me once again, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm totally in love with this one. I'm in love with all of them, aren't I? Let's be honest. Um, I've really enjoyed it. This is a really good flip for a one day. Yeah? Um, the fact that you don't have to seal. So I've sell sealed the body. I haven't sealed the drawers because they they're silk, so they don't need it. Um, and I could have done the body in silk and not needed to 
but I don't know what's wrong with me and why I just can't do it anyway if you're interested in the products that I've used have a look in the description there'll be a link to take you directly to the Dixie Bell website if you're within the US if you're outside of the US if you check the Dixie Bell website there'll be a list showing the stockists in your country Good day guys take care